Okay, so hi guys and good morning. So it's me once again, MJ, and I'm going to discuss with you now before we are going to tackle more about the functions of each other organs or systems. So we will go to the basic or the basis, basic function of tissues. Okay, so before we're going to learn more about um, the skeletal system, which will be on our next topic, which is topic six. So, uh, we're going to learn and understand more about tissues. So, tissues are a group of cells. These are a group of cells that are similar in structures and perform a common or related functions or are usually called as tissues. Okay, let me make this big. So, these are the studies or histology that complements the study of gross anatomy. So together, they provide the structural basis for understanding the organ physiology. So before you learn more about the basic of other skeletal or muscular or other systems, you need to understand and analyze more each of these tissues. So the tissues of human body include the four major types or the general function. So number one, these are epithelial. Number two, these are the connective tissues, muscle tissues, and the nervous system tissues. Epithelial tissues are the ones that are covering. Connective tissues are the ones who supports, which are usually located in some of the joints. And then muscles, which involves for more movement and assist all the movement. And nervous tissues, these are the tissues that usually control our whole uh, body. So the types of tissues, these are the connecting tissues that we have here. Epithelial tissues, muscle tissues, and the nervous tissues. So these are four different types of tissues. So the epithelial cells, or what you call, these are the cells of a gland. Okay, so as what you can see here. These are usually located in the surface of our skin. So as you can see here, these are the some of the um, epithelial cells of the sweat glands. Are usually these are the tiny hairs that we have. So hmm, what happened to my face? Okay, so um, epithelial tissues is a sheet of cells that covers a body surface or lines a body cavity. So as what you can see here in the picture, these are nearly substances received or given off by the body must pass through an epithelium layers. So these are some of the examples of epithelial tissues. So lack of blood vessels contains little intercellular materials and are continually being replaced. So they function in protection, secretion, absorption, filtration, excretion, and sensory reception. So these are what you call, or this is what you call, usually the, um, uh, these are located in our skin. So these are what you call the epithelial tissues. So the char these characteristics has, the epithelial cells has polarity. Okay, so these are near and top and the basal surface near the bottom. They specialize contacts and supports by the um, connective tissues. So moving on. So each epithelial tissue is given two names. So the first name is what you call the simple layer, and the second one is a stratified. So there are different, um, more than one layer, or what you call the stratified. Then the, the second description, the shape of its cells, or what you call squamous, cuboidal, and the columnar. Okay, so these are some of the examples. On the pictures here, you can see the squamous tissue. This is located. And then the cuboidal, or something like a cube, and then the columnar. And then we have the simple, the basal surface, the apical surface, and the next picture is the basal surface, or what you call the stratified. The simple squamous epithelium is, is a tissue that contains a single layer of thin. So these are flattened, which uh, substances that can pass easily. They are so delicate, they can easily be damaged. So common site of diffusion and osmosis, its function is to exchange gases into the lungs. 
So lines of air sacs of the lungs are usually um, during the gas exchange of inhalation and exhalation, these, um, these tissues takes place. So forms the walls of the capillaries, lines and inside the blood vessels and the lymph vessels. So covers the membrane of the line body cavities, like for example, the cheek cells, even for the for the major organs we have this uh, we also have this form of tissues so the next one is a simple squamous epithelium uh, simple squamous epithelium these are simple these are a single layer of flattened cells with disc shape so as you observe uh, they are turned according to their actual description so the central nuclei and sparse cytoplasm the simplest of the epithelia now, how about its function? It allows passage of materials by diffusion and filtration in sites where protection is not important. So it secretes lubricating substances in serosy. So as you can see here, these are the air sacs of lung tissues, the nucleus there of the squamous epithelial cells, and the simple squamous epitheliums forming parts of the alveolar or the air sacs or the wall. So usually they are located with the kidneys glomeru glomeruli, okay? So their air sacs are usually at the lungs, the lining of the heart, blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, lining of the ventral cavity. So these are major organs that involves in our body that usually works in the process of filtration. So if you um, know what is the function of our kidneys or the um, kidneys or the glu glomeruli, these are the ones who are secreting the waste from our body. So if there is a large damage in your kidney glomeruli, so there is also a decrease in, uh, in the excretion of your waste body products from your body. So there's a tendency for you to have um, swelling of your face, swelling of your feet and arms. So these um, tissues are very important. So what causes its damage? Sometimes it is uh, because of high intake of salt. Others maybe, or an increased um, increased intake of sugar. So the simple cuboidal epithelium. This tissue consists of single layer of cube-sized shell cells. So usually have a central located spherical nuclei. It carries on secretion and absorption and secretes glandular products. So covers the ovaries, lines the kidneys, tubules, and ducts of certain glands like the pancreas and the livers. So as you observe, these are the, the, the major organs that we have in our body that comprises this simple cuboidal epithelium. So this is an example of the microscopic um, picture of a cuboidal epithelium. So a simple cuboidal epithelium, as seen in the picture, these are simple cuboidal epithelial cells. So the main basement membrane, the connective tissues, so simple cuboidal epithelium in the kidney tu tubules. So this is also located in our kidney tubules, which also helps in the absorption, filtration. So these kidney tubules are ducts as a portion of small glands and or sometimes it is, uh, and it is also located in our ovary surface. So simple columnar, this is another form of um, tissue. This composed of single layer also and elongated cells. But this one, these are more prolonged, as you can see in the picture. Um, these are long-legged cells, which are nuclei, are usually at about the same level. So near the basement membrane and um, have some cilia. Uh, and some of some of them have cilia, some of have them not, don't have. So cilia are these are the small, um, small, uh, small hair sac like. So this secret this, the the function of this is also to secrete and absorb. So these are tissues that these tissues are actually thick. So these tissue lines the uterus and portions of the digestive tracts, like small and large intestines of our body. Okay, so now these are the simple columnar epithelium, another form of tissue. These are simple. These are also what you call the ciliated or the cilia, the single narrow of nuclei. These are the single layer of tall cells, as what I've mentioned also earlier, with, but this one is with round to oval nuclei. So 
So some cells bear their cilia, layers may contain mucus um, secreting unicellulars or goblet cells, which call this. These are uh, the main membrane, the basement membrane, and its function is also for absorption, secretion of mucus, enzymes, and other substances, ciliated types, mucus, or reproductive cells. So usually, I think this is more, um, this usually function whenever our body has an infection process wherein this absorbs all the mucus and other bacterias and uh, bad, other bacterias, viruses, um, which um, our body may contain. So non-ciliated type lines, most of the digestive tract, stomach to anal canal, gallbladder, excretory duct, and some glands, ciliated, varied lines, wall, bronchi. Okay, so bronchi, which is also located in our um, lungs. And uterine tubules and some of the regions of the female uterus. So pseudostratified columnar epithelium, these are stratified but are not. So they appear to have two or more nuclei instead of only one. But they each reach the basement level. So goblet cells scattered throughout the tissue that secrete mucus, which the cilia sweeps away. So it lines tubes of the respiratory system. The mucus and the cilia created by this tissue trap the dust and microorganisms that enter the airways. So usually these are located in our lungs. So this tissue um, will um, will be responsible for um for the protection from infection or sometimes this will um that trap this will trap the dust and microorganisms like like i had already mentioned here. these are also like pathogens that may exist from the our environment so the c or what you call the nuclei appear at various level giving it the stratified appearance and the b the cilia can easily be seen so these are hair like structures uh, which are organs that uh, that usually sweeps away and responsible for uh, for the absorption of microorganisms. So the pseudostratified ciliated column, the two layers of nuclei, connective tissues. So the pseudostratified columnar epithelium. When you see pseudo pseudo, you cannot identify which organism or which structure it is. So single layer of cells are different heights. Some not reaching the, the pre-surface, look okay. like seen at different levels, may contain goblet cells and bare cilia. Its also function is for the secretion, particularly of mucus, uh, propulsion of mucus by the cilia action. So its function is the, um, the, the cilia which um, moves out the propulsion, uh, propulsion of the mucus by the cilia action. So the cilia has the motion of like um, uh, jellyfish, something like that. So it helps in the excretion of also some microorganisms. So non ciliated type of male sperm carrying ducts and ducts of the large glands, ciliated vari variety lines, the trachea and the most upper respiratory tract. Okay, so the trachea, which is located, this is one of our res uh, respiratory system that is um, essential for our breathing of inhalation and exhalation. So the stratified squamous epithelium, these are the names of the shapes of the cells, which consist of many layers. So relatively thick cells near the surface are flat, where the deeper are cuboidal and columnar. Tissue can contain keratin, which is the protein that accumulates and protects the underlying tissues. So epi epidermis, the outermost layer of our skin, also lines the skin and lines of the oral cavity, throat, vagina, and anal canals. So observe that the surface of the bee are flattened and um, are squamous. So what about its function? This also protects underlying tissues in areas um, subjected to abrasions, meaning there is an opening or there is a um, possibly wound, no? The non-keratinized type form, that uh, the moist lining of the esophagus, mouth, and vagina, keratinized variety forms of epidermis of the skin and dry membranes. So these are stratified squamous epithelium. Now, how about its description? The thick membrane composed of several cell layers. Basal cells are cuboidal and columnar. 
and metabolic active surface cells are flattened. So some, some are squamous, some are cuboidal, some are columnar. Some are keratinized and full keratin and dead basal cells are active in mitosis, in the process of mitosis. And produces cells of the most more superficial layers. So the stratified cuboidal epithelium, this tissue is composed of two or three layers of the cube cell, um, cube cell shade cells. So it lines the large, larger ducts of the mammary glands or the sweat glands or the salivary glands and pancreas. Forms the lining of avarian follicles and semi uh, ferrous tubules. So it, fu um, it functions in protection. How about the transitional epithelium? This tissue is specialized to change in response to tension. So transition of epithelium is unstretched and consists of many layers. When the organ walls contract, the tissue stretches appear thinner when the organ is distended. So forms the lining of the urinary bladder, lines in the ureters, and part of the urethra. So these are parts of our urinary system. Well, the transitional epithelium, these are the reblemishes, both stratified squamous and stratified cuboidal. Basal cells, cuboidal or columnar. So its function is to spread readily and permit distension of urinary organ by contained the urine. So these are, um, these are, its function is of course, in our urinary system that is responsible for the excretion of our urine. Urine is the out, um, uh, the end product of our liquid that we um, do usually do um, intake. So the transitional epithelium, the basement membrane, are the connective tissues. Connective tissues. So these are the transitional epithelia lining the lining the bladder. Relaxes states, note that the bulbous rounded appearance of the cells and surfaces, these cells flatten and become elongated when the bladder is full with urine. Okay, so now this ends our session for our, um, for our lecture on the tissues. And um, I want you to name what are the four major tissue types and their chief subcategory. And I want you to comment down below your answers. And you can explain how the four major tissues differ structurally and um, functionally. Okay, so here ends our session. And I hope that you're going to participate and comment down below your answers. Again, name the four major types of tissues and their subcategories. And you are going to... Um, what's happening to my face? <laughs> Is this cuboidal, stratified, or elongated? Okay, so anyway, until here. So it's nice to see you. And God bless. Bye-bye.